player by the name of Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. Just hands people who've heard of him. He's some of you who are anybody in Georgetown basketball fans, because you might remember him as Chris Jackson, who dropped 51 on Georgetown when in the sold out Louisiana Superdome, one of the best college basketball games I've ever seen. Jackson, Chris Jackson, Mahmoud Abdullah was an amazing player. He was basically like a 5'11 shooting guard. He had the quickest release you've ever seen in your life. It looked like he was setting a volleyball when he would shoot. And he, he uh, made the private decision in 1996 that he wasn't going to come out for the national anthem. And a reporter got sort of wind of this after about two or three games. No one had even noticed. And he went into the locker room and asked Raouf, why are you doing this? And Rome's response was just to say, well, look, I, I don't know what to say. It's just not something I'm comfortable with, the whole idea of, of nationalism and saluting the flag along with sports. I just don't see why these things really have to be together like that. And the reporter, like all good reporters do, had a good follow-up to that, he said to Raouf, well, but don't you think you're offending people? I mean, that flag is a symbol of freedom and democracy throughout the world. And Raouf, you got to see the video. He sort of gets this little twinkle in his eye like, should I say it? Yeah, I'll say it. And he said, well, it may be a symbol of freedom and democracy to some, but it's a symbol of oppression and tyranny to others. Now, when he said that, it was literally like the sporting shit hit the fan. Like ESPN, and that's where I first heard about it. It was on ESPN. It was like, Raouf spits on the flag. Booyah! <laughs> Overload of information, huge firestorm, even in those pre-internet, pre-blog times. And actually, I could make a strong argument that it was actually the absence of the internet, the absence of blogs that made it even a bigger firestorm, because back then, you only had very few voices in the sports world that defined a wide range of public opinion, as opposed to today, where you have eight trillion voices trying to <laughs> fighting to be heard. So. Raouf was basically drummed out of the league. His last season in the NBA, he played for the Vancouver Grizzlies, which some would have argued at the time was not actually playing in the NBA. And he <laughs> led the league in points per minute that year, and he was still out of the league. And he maintains to this day that, uh, that he was drummed out of the league because of his uh, political beliefs. His home was actually burned down in Gulfport, Mississippi. And uh, the local sheriff uh, refused to investigate it, saying that he would only investigate uh, Americans whose homes were burned down. Keep in mind, Chris Jackson was from uh, Gulfport, Mississippi. They actually had moved back home 